What is up, guys? It's your host, Peter, from the Boys and Booze podcast. And today we're going to be talking about a subject regarding the family court system that is not doing any justice to men and especially children in the Western society. So the reason why I'm saying this is because let's go over the facts, okay? We know that today in this society, women are more favored in the court systems. About According to the Census Bureau, about 80% of children are always going to be handed over to mothers, not fathers, but mothers, even if they are not mentally there. We know that single mothers have increased rates of poverty, and about one third of them are living in poverty today. And because the mothers are in poverty, their children are going to be raised by these mothers, and they're going to be having mental and behavior problems. They're more likely to drop out of school. They take on substance abuse. They partake in violence. And lastly, they are more depressed now than ever. Another thing I want to talk about is child protective systems and how it's not doing any good to Americans. Child protective services will still grant custody of children to abusive mothers, even if they're not mentally stable. According to the National Committee of Preventing Child Abuse, 72% of all reported child abuse cases in the United States were never thoroughly investigated. And about 1,300 of those cases have resulted in children being killed, whether it's through abuse or neglect. Those children have died and they're never coming back. And that's a problem we have today. Another thing I want to talk about is, according to the National Center of Health and Research, child abuse and neglect are at the highest in single mother homes, and especially where children are exposed to their partners, whether it's their living partners, their boyfriends, or their stepfathers. That opposed to whether when the children are in married families or with their biological father. So there's a stark contrast to this. And re- most recently, there was a case where a mother cold-bloodedly murdered her son. You can look this up. Eli Hart from Minneapolis, six years old. He died because child protective services did not do the job right. Let's look at this new. Let's look at the the facts of the case, okay? According to the case, that mother, Julissa Dollar, had history of mental illness, yet she stopped seeing her therapist raising concerns about the boy's own mental health and well-being. She repeatedly had unstable housing, including being forced to move for violating her le- her leases. She failed to complete a parenting education program for missing too many classes. She failed to remain a law-abiding citizen, including facing a charge for stealing drugs a year before. She failed to sign releases to allow social workers access to Eli's medical records. And most concerning to the social workers, Dollar was apparently doing anything she could to sabotage the boy's relationship with her father, whom the child's court-appointed guardian said, there appears to be a stabilizing force in Eli's life. Dollar had made repeated accusations against him none of which the boys' social workers could verify. I would like to say something. Go ahead. Um, I'm innocent. You all, you're garbage. So knowing all of this in the court's eyes, in the CPS eyes, they're still going to reward and grant the child over to the unstable, the mentally unstable mother. Even though the father is happily taking care of his child. How can the court do this? Why are they not charged today? And you know what CPS's response to this was? They said, Our deepest sympathy go out to the family, friends, and all our community impacted by the loss. Due to privacy laws, we're not able to comment further. Is that all they have to say about this? A simple apology because a child died? That is wrong, wrongful. They should take responsibility 
for the death of Eli Hart. Why are they going to reward a child over to a parent that is has a whole record of being mentally unstable and always try to sabotage the child's relationship with the father? Is this what America has become today? Where even though parents, they divorce and the child is going over to the mother 80% of the time, are, they, are the courts investigating all of this? Do they know that the parents, whether it be the mother or the father, are abusive? Do they know the facts? Why are we not doing the investigation beforehand, before granting children over to parents? More questions I have about this is, why isn't the family court in Minneapolis taking responsibility for giving custody over to the mother? Why isn't the Child Protective Services charged for not doing the one and only job of protecting a child from abuse and neglect? And in this case, cold blood murder. And I'm not going to talk about how he was murdered because it was sickening. I'm disgusted by how it was done. How many more wrongful abuse cases and deaths to the children in the United States do we have to suffer before the court changes its system? And why aren't fathers granted children more in divorce cases? Until we figure this out, the abuse and neglect is always going to continue. That's all I have to say today. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Peace.